Also tonight, a blind man and his dog beaten in the streets of Hartford. And police are searching for the suspects still on the loose tonight. That man talked about the terrorizing ordeal with News 8's A.J. Walker. She's live at Hartford Police Headquarters tonight with that. A.J.? Darren, 49-year-old Francis Shannon was so terrified after the attack, he was too afraid to even call the police because he feared retaliation from the men who attacked him. But after talking with a friend, that friend encouraged him to reach out and tell the police so they can try to catch the guys. So as I came out the door, I came around the corner right here, as I always do, and okay. that's when they grabbed me right here. Right here, right here is where they attacked yeah, you. And put me right over to to the side and start punching me before I could even realize what happened. Francis Shannon is blind, so he never saw it coming. Attacked by three men last Sunday when he took out his seeing eye dog for a walk at midnight. One guy started kicking and punching me in the stomach and the chest. I could fill a knife up to my throat. He says the men robbed him for his wallet, then threatened to kill him if he called police. But then he says they did the unthinkable. That's when ladies start growling and lurching up and I could hear them Boom, 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 kick, kicking and hitting because I heard like that and then I didn't hear anything else, you know. He says Lady was knocked unconscious and he thought she was dead, but she's alive and well and Shannon couldn't be happier. His seeing eye dog Lady is not only his best friend, she's his eyes. He hopes the police catch the man who did this, but it'll be tough because he can't give them a description. Well, Shannon tells me he recognizes the voices of the men who attacked him because they hang out at this deli. Now, that's only about two blocks from where he lives, and he's terrified that they could come back. If they come around her, she's going to let me know. She's going to be whining. She's going to be bought because she has a good memory. And Shannon tells me that the back door to his apartment building is broken, so people wander in and out of it all the time. He's just hoping that those three men don't come back again and that they're not the ones who wander in and are waiting to do this again. For now, live in Hartford, A.J. Walker, News 8.